Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, so now I'm in sudden death, because I foolishly assumed that at any point my opponent would actually run out of, like, mulches and naturalizes. Like, run out of cards that blow up any minion, regardless of size, for very little mana. Silly me. I had a great bunch of stuff to do, and my opponent had the perfect counter to it. It was pretty bullshit. My first game with this deck, I think I just didn't. I think I just didn't have like the right, didn't get the right stuff in the right order. Pretty standard, so I lost. But that that last one was really frustrating. The light. Like that was bullshit. All right. Probably a mistake, because my opponent probably has a backstab, but whichever one I play is going to get killed, right? At least if she backstabs and then attacks him, she loses the bubble, whereas if she just backstabs him, she loses nothing. Yeah, okay. <coughs> That's not so bad, then. Now it's looking like my opponent has a slow start, which is a plus. Who you want me kill? I see. I was don't play him very often because I'm not very really used to that joke. That blows. <sighs> so it's not like my opponent's getting particularly far ahead by that. It's just annoying. Your mother was a murderer. I see. That's pretty unpleasant. Dirk Peddler. If I play this, I can't play one of my other guys, but I'd love to get something to finish him with. There are a lot of one-cost cards that could do it, and that's not one of them. Awesome. Yeah, I'm not going to attack him. Why? You die anyway. If I leave him out there, then my opponent might have to spend that 5 damage attack killing it, or might have to play around it with other things, so works out okay. In that particular case, I was not too worried about him getting, like, blown up some other way. I wouldn't even be losing that much damage, so... Okay. Well, we're going to do this. First kill. And then, uh, why not? Just play stuff. I can discard things later. Or possibly, if I draw something else decent, maybe save him until I've more or less emptied my hand. That works too. Well, it does have more cards than I do. Well, like, one more card than I do. I wonder. Her turn knows, so you can play more stuff. So we're, we're pretty even right now. But that's not helping. Not not especially helpful. Excuse me. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm not sure it's gonna be good, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Falling behind on hit points now. I have a handful of big nasty things. Okay, my opponent no longer has that big army out there. Oh, okay, that's pretty ugly. Shadow Pan is big. I'll play him, he's slightly bigger. I have a taunt in my hand. That makes me a lot happier about my slightly lower hit point level. Like 21 hit points doesn't feel like a lot when your opponent has a 6 7 out there, but. I, I can play him to slow down my opponent's roll. Damn it. Yeah, I really should have used the spider to hit the rider for one. I wasn't thinking of its like attack versus his hit points. I was just thinking like, eh, he's slightly bigger. 
but doing the one damage to it would have been good. One thing those, uh, those crappy turtles would actually be good for is Void Terror. Could become pretty impressive at that point. So, I could Shadow Bolt that and then finish it with the Doom Guard. Doom Guard would end up with one hit point left, which is pretty poor. So many possibilities. I think I'm just taking that out, playing Tonto here. But then what? Then I don't have much else to do. It's not that great. I can't... If I if I play him, I'm not going to be able to play him this turn, even if I don't discard him. Using this and him mm -hmm. to take that out is pretty poor, though. But I can still play the Heckler, so I guess we're going to do that. Advice, though. I don't like it, but I think the situation is worse if I don't do that. My other options were just not working out very well. Hmm. It'd sure be nice if my opponent doesn't have a good way to blow up the Heckler, though. I would like my Doomguard to actually do we six must damage. Cleanse the sun well. Ah, you're gonna do that. Okay. Yeah, that, that works. And it sucks. Yeah, he's first sized as well. Okay, well, I was going to do other things, but I guess I'm doing this now. I'm going to take a beating if my opponent just goes through my face. Like, I might just die. I don't have the taunt giving stuff. I think it might be game over. That sucks. If she does trade her army for my tank, I'm actually not doing so bad. She doesn't have, like, any cards. She's not that far ahead in hit points. I've got stuff. <coughs> really? You were... W wow. Oh, you think I'm going to let there be nothing alive on the table? Seems unlikely. Uh, can't drain life that guy, though. Hmm. Like, I can't finish it on, him off with the Drain Life, which is unfortunate. I think I'm going to play the Void Terror... For, no, then I'll lose my Drain Life. I'm going to lose my Drain Life anyway, but... I'm not going to finish off my opponent super fast. No, I think I'm going to play this guy and then the Doom Guard and just go for the face and hope my opponent can't finish me off. With the two minions, she's unlikely to be able to get uh, Statue Boy going. She can hit me for five. It, she'd have to do five more damage right now, which is pretty unlikely. Three more damage she could manage, so I'm not going to draw the additional card. She has to stop the Doom Guard, take him out, or get a taunt, or something, or or die. And her answer is die. Fair enough, yeah. I, I feel like there's got to be a really good use for that statue in some kind of constructed deck, but sure as hell not in the arena. It's just too hard to engineer that circumstance. Okay. One more win to, to break even with the stupid... That... Still, that druid game was... Bullshit. Just bullshit. And if I psychically knew that my opponent would not run out of one or three mana assassinates, then I would have played uh, the, the smaller guys first, Go and I would have that. been in a better situation. Like, I would have taken less damage. I had my taunt guy go out there and kill the 2-1 and stuff like that earlier, but, uh, so bad. <coughs> this is quite a starting hand. I mean, I know I've got lots of big things to draw for later in the game, I'm not too worried about that. So, having this kind of a rush at the start, nice. No complaints here. 
So I, now I can potentially play the trog and hold on to the dark peddler for when I know because the later I play it, the more information I'll have, the more I can choose something potentially to react to the situation. Playing, playing something in advance, like, it's fine, but, yeah. Um, that's a little unfortunate, because he's going to take out my guy. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this. I'm not going to land security on this thing. Seems silly. <coughs> now, if it's just going to die. Hmm. Oh, it has a coin. Okay. Not gonna coin muster. Coin muster could have been kind of rough. Just like that, eh? Okay. I could drain life this thing. And then I just have board control. So I'm actually gonna do that. It may not be that high a priority, but. Let me kill that. Damage. If you play a spell that does not kill the trog, the trog will actually gain attack, which is fun. I have two guys out who can either get lance carriered or maybe get something out of the dark peddler, like a sergeant or a uh, or overwhelming. I don't know, whatever. I'm sick and dying. Whatever. Okay, so this looks like a situation for lance carrier. Although I'm gonna play the dark peddler first to see what I get. <laughs> um, none of those are particularly useful, so I guess we'll take the soul fire. <coughs> and yeah, we're going to lanceify, kill her, and then just do some damage. Can't worry too much about which one of these two guys gets killed by that. It's like it's not worth my killing at first. Though it is a paladin, so I guess it's way more worthwhile keeping it dead. So that you couldn't get some kind of buff. Uh, that's annoying because I can't use any of these handy effects to destroy it. I could copy it, but I have bigger things, so I'm not doing that. Um, let's see what card I draw. Nope, that's not helping. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Yeah, this is uh, particularly annoying, because none of these is going to work very well. If either, like, either of these cards on that guy would be fine, but that doesn't work. Leave alone for now. The Doom Guard can just come out and kill it. Which I would be fine with, even though that thing could do some damage in the meantime, I could get Consecrated. Oh, a bubble. To kill my Dark Peddler. Something needs tinkering? Killing the Dark Peddler, not the end of the world. That's pretty bad. That is a very efficient turn for you. If you don't kill the Dark Peddler, then I'm just going to lance that thing. Yeah, okay. That's to you. Stop poking me! Um, should I soul fire this guy first? It's pretty efficient. Like, anything I discard is going to be annoying, but anything but him would be fine. If I don't get that, then I could flip him but and so still kill that, but then I'd be in bad shape, actually. No, okay, we're gonna we're just going to Doom Guard first and then worry about it. Yeah, of course, I lose the Soul Fire, but eh. I, mean, I could have hit that guy for two and then flipped him to a two four, which might have been smart, but I don't think, yeah. don't think it was worth it. I'm so glad that's a shield bot and not a shield your friend guy. Because another uh, another urgent protector would have been pretty bad. That's a lot of stuff. I could hit for a lot of damage. I could just hit for 10 and then play this guy. My opponent would have free reign over how to kill my guys, but that would definitely put me ahead. 
Well, I mean, he could use the bubble to kill this guy then, which is kind of annoying. But I think that's probably worth it anyway. Yeah, let's just try and take him down. I, I can't prevent him from having buff targets, but we'll just go full-on hard style. Big swipes of the lightsaber. Just play big dudes. Surprised you'd rather do that than the bubble. You probably have. You're probably hoping for a blessing of kings if you don't have one already. Uh, blessing of kings would be pretty annoying. I didn't have an efficient way to take out the bubble though. Like I would have had to lose something just as good anyway just to take it out. So. Okay, actually that really sucks. All, using all those spare parts to get buff his mana addict. God damn. That is unpleasant. At best. Now I'm in a crappy position. Let's see if I get a really good spare part, but I don't know how it would be good enough. That's not good enough. Better way to do this. That was highly unfortunate. Um, we are going to reverse this guy. Or should I reverse him? No, I gotta reverse this guy so I take less damage. I might be dead anyway, though. My opponent only needs three more damage. There are so many ways to do three more damage to me. Or not. I don't know how I can recover, though. That's unfortunate. The thing is, like, I would have preferred... Just in, as a generalization, I would have preferred taking down his army to doing all that damage to him. But my guys did not trade all that favorably. Ooh, that's good. Taunt might help. I mean, it means I'm not playing this guy, but this guy doesn't help me if I just die. I could play this guy and then trade both of mine to kill that. That's not bad, actually. Hold on. Because then I still have the taunt in my hand. Okay. Desperate times, right? I mean, its bubble isn't going to do any good. It's just going to get popped by a 1-1 one, one if he doesn't have a way to kill me. But he didn't have a way to kill me last turn, so he probably doesn't have a way to kill me this turn. None may steal. Okay, annoying. <coughs> uh, very close to dead. That is the least relevant joust in a long time. Oh, crap. Yeah, severe, severe problems. Taunt's not going to be enough. Double taunt might be enough. Yeah, that's unfortunate. There's no like this. Playing this doesn't help anywhere. I'm probably still just dead, right? I've got two hit points. He has he can kill one of my taunts with his big guy easily. Oh, he might get crazy insane Murlocs. No, he got an average Murloc, okay. So I'll not complain about the Murloc Knight on that particular turn. Still bad news for me. My eyes are Oh that sucks. And I'm very dead. I can heal myself five. It's not going to be enough, though. My eyes are open. Is there anything I could draw that would improve the situation? I don't have a Hellfire in here. If I had a Hellfire that I could potentially draw, then that would destroy almost every. Like, that would make it possible, but it, it doesn't, because I don't. There's no way I can actually survive this. I mean, I guess I draw a card anyway because I'm going to die anyway. Because I kill this. Kill that. I didn't have lethal. I had like 12, 13. Yeah, no. <coughs> Just crap. The one that was really bullshit was just that druid, though. Like, holy shit. 
I just had big thing after big thing. Like, it, he would have taken oh, his whole yeah. army to take out any one of them, basically. And said, like, nothing. And he kept giving me more, more cards, and I, I, I said a long time ago, Naturalize doesn't have a drawback if your deck is half naturalized. Like, if you just... If in Arena Run, you knew you were going to get a bunch of naturalizes, so you just took them all, you have like five of them, then at some point it stops having a drawback, because you just keep blowing up everything threatening that comes out. My opponent basically reached that point. Piece of crap. Yeah, I'm on like a tremendous losing, not quite losing streak, but seriously, out of my last ten or so runs, it has been miserable. Miserable like that pack of cards. Even if I didn't have all that stuff, that was still a miserable pack of cards. Okay. <sighs> yeah. That's uh that's it, I guess. Just have to get a better run. Hopefully stop being sick. Next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.